hello everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well so guys in today's video we are going to talk about tcs appraisals so what are the goals and attributes so for that uh, you, what comments and answers that you should give so uh, you might know that it is very confusing that what comments and answer should you add to each attribute and comment and goals so in this video we are going to see exact answer for all the attributes as well as goals so make sure to watch the video till complete end before starting the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest updates from our channel. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram to receive all the job updates. So let's start with our first attribute. So the first attribute that we have is communication. So for communication, you can answer with decent communication skills. I share my doubts and feedback without being condescending towards my peers. I pay utmost attention when me and my colleagues are bouncing off ideas about the task in hand and I am able to get different perspectives. I convey my ideas and opinions effectively. So this answer you can give for communication attribute. So moving ahead with our next attribute that is analytical ability. I learn from my seniors and co-peers. The kind of decisions they take when it comes to critical situation, the kind of analytical and logical solutions. I always follow my super superiors or supervisors. Learn and implement in a similar kind. I am well aware of my actions. So also work on few though possibilities and try to imply appropriate solution to my ability. So this answer you can give for analytical ability attribute. Moving on to the next attribute, which is continual learning. I always believe in continuous learning and keeping up with advancement of technology and skills. So I make use of different platforms provided by the organization like Udemy, iEvolve, Fresco to make myself compliant and always be available with suitable set of skills that organization looking in me. I also make it a point beside learning new things to a way to always brush up on the already known technologies. Now these goals and comments are attributes. Uh, these goals and attributes are common to all the companies. So even if you are from Infosys or like other companies, Accenture and all, so you can add similar answers. Moving on to the next attribute, which is initiative or proactiveness. I try to take action to meet work related objectives without being explicitly asked to do so whenever I can. While working on my task, if I find others defects which are not yet noticed, I point it out and try to resolve it as well. I have also given my inputs about some feeds indexing that might affect some engine's data in further. Moving on to the next one, which is innovation and creativity. I am trying my best to not rely on common methods to solve a problem, but address each situation with creative solutions. I try to take the day to day task and challenge the status quotient to see whether improvements can be made. Moving on to the next attribute, which is interpersonal effectiveness. I have learned so many things from my senior regarding how to communicate effectively with others and also learn how effectively we can communicate with each other when exchanging ideas with my team members. I have built a very good rapport with my team members when communicating with them. So this kinds of answer you can give so that you get a better rating uh, from your senior. Next is planning and organizing. I have always kept my mind and work in a structural manner where I fix myself to a time range which I use to deliver the solution. Starting from setting my goals, targeting to test my own work and completion of work. So planning and organizing the work is an important uh, thing that you need to do in your day to day activities. And that is why this attribute holds a important value. Taking ownership. I always believe that my actions have their course of results and outcomes. Whenever I am assigned a task, I take full of responsibility where I am bound to accept the success and also defects that are to come. I am and will be fully responsible for my decisions taken and also the work that I deliver. I always believe in teamwork. I apart from looking into my task also actively engage on my teammates responsibility. Whenever they are stuck in issues related to tasks and also extend my band with bandwidth and put in my efforts to coordinate with them for the task and keep up the group's responsibilities. 
now guys it is up to you that how much uh, comment you need to add don't add a very long paragraph i have just given so long answers so that you can take some statements from these answers and add it okay now uh, there is no need to add a very long passage otherwise it will be clear that you have copied it from somewhere right so make sure that you uh, mindfully copy and paste it as per your requirements next is problem solving i try to take action to meet work related objectives without being explicitly asked to do so whenever i can while working on my task if i find other defects which are not yet noticed i point it out and try to solve it as well i have also given my input in the ui changes that might be required while analyzing the web pages so a real life example for each attribute is a good idea so in similar way you can add a real life example to adding a real life example will definitely give you a uh, effect to your manager that yes you are actually doing the work and uh, what all the things that you have actually done in uh, in your projects right moving on to the next one which is value and conduct i strictly follow the rules regulation ethics and maintain the code of conduct set by my organization the decision i make and the way i speak and talk are the first to be observed so i make it a point to follow the core values always take responsibilities of my actions and consequences so values and conduct moving on to the next one which is coaching now uh, many of the colleagues or associates are required to provide kts right that is knowledge transitioning dur during their um, job period so if you have provided any kt or coaching to your juniors or anyone in your team then uh, you will definitely be asked this one so how can you answer it facilitates the continuous developments of individual and organizational competencies developing others potentials through the sharing of expertise and providing timely feedback so this one is a good answer for it moving on to the next one which is personal development on time completion of mandatory trainings on time status reporting of the project adherence to agile process and activity so guys this is a goal and personal development is definitely is the one i'm sure that you are also uh, going to get asked right so definitely answer this in this way next is delivery support zero defect quality of deliverables on time delivery of the project so these are some points that you need to cover while answering the uh, goal delivery support okay so basically you need to mention that yes you are providing the on time support for your uh, required project or anything there is if there is any requirement right next is presentation skills prepares and presents information in a clear and organized manner to a variety of audiences use appropriate presentation tools to educate rely on information or influence action so presentation skills should be good even in the senior position if you are a team leader or a senior manager then you need to show your presentation skills along with creating the uh, powerpoint presentation as well as presenting them so this uh, represents that you have you possess good presentation skills with standing pressure is the next goal that is handles demands of operational conflict and complex systems maintains a sufficiently flexible approach to constantly changing demands to be able to respond and adapt in a controlled manner handles pressure to deliver more or differently by offering convening convincing options moving on to the next one which is operations support closer of post implementation defects raised by customers within prescribed as la that is service level agreement so a very short one but a effective one right so with this we have come to an end of this video if you have any doubts related to appraisal or any comments that you need to answer let me know in the comment section and i will provide the answer for that comment too make sure to join us on different social media platforms and make sure to subscribe to the channel to receive such kinds of helpful videos in future thank you and all the best for your appraisals